Hello, welcome back to the part where we'll cover baking. So my software of choice is Marmoset Toolbag. Um, it bakes a little bit better than Substance Painter, in my opinion. So in um, Marmoset, all you have to do is click this little bread icon here, and it will show up with a bake project. And then you can quick load if your meshes have the correct name, so underscore low and high. You can just select your um, low and high model right here, open it up and it'll load the low and make the high invisible. So as you can see there's a ton of folders and their baking groups which will um, give some better results and you can change it per baking group like the offset and stuff but we'll go over that later. Some settings I use as I like to use soften 0.1 the samples I like to put it at 64 and 16 bits per channel then we change the map size to whatever you want so I'm just gonna bake at 4k I untick everything except normals and ambient occlusion and for ambient occlusion I like to set it to 512 or 1024 depending on the result sometimes it can get a little bit grainy so you might want to increase the ray count if you want the groups to cast um, AO to each other you just click this one and that's all you have to do. You can flip your Y if you haven't set your tangents. I just flip Y if you want to do it in a direct X normals. And all you have to do then is click bake and we'll probably see a bake, but might have some errors, but let's check it out real quick. Oh, one more thing you have to do is you have to set the baking output. So we can just go ahead and click bake, create a new folder called maybe final click it and then give it a name you can save it and you can just click bake then and it'll do its thing it'll start baking the normals and the ambient occlusion so just give it some time and once that's done you can click the preview bake output and it will preview the bake on the model so as you can see there's already some um, errors we have to deal with the first one is stuff like this, stuff like this on the lenses. And what the issue is on this one is you just go ahead and click on a model and you can click on the low. And this is the cage for baking. So if you unhide your high, you can see that the high is kind of clipping through. So all you have to do is move the cage, either your min offset or your maximum offset. So it covers the whole entire high poly. You do that for everything that has some errors to it. So you just move the offset as well. Stuff like this, you just go ahead and do the same thing. So rinse and repeat, move the offset and you should get a cleaner bake next time. Let's go over some other possible issues that may arise when baking. As you can see here, we turned on baking um, ignore groups. So it bakes onto each other. Let's just uh, bake it again real quick to get rid of these errors and make it a little bit smoother because it's on preview bake now. Okay, cool. So as you can see, this fixed it and this fixed it. Just have to do a couple of more. But the high poly obviously has ridges here and the body of this one catches that AO. Like if we go here and we see the high, you can see there's quite a big difference. So the AO doesn't really match with the low poly. So what you can do is move the entire group, make sure you select the folder and move it away from each other. Now the thing is, then it won't really catch um, AO on this plane, but it's better than have some messed up AO anyways. So if you bake it again, we can see that it's gone, but it also doesn't catch AO, but that's not that much of a problem. Then you would want to move this one along with it as well. So. Let's just try and fix some of these issues and do a quick rebake. But before going through the other issues, let's check this one out here. So if you have holes or screws or bolts or whatever that you want to bake down, um, sometimes it can get a little bit skewed. So what Marmoset has, which is great, is a skew painter. You can just paint your skew in. So you can have black and you can change the size here of your brush. But let's just do this one real quick. Decrease the size of our brush and get rid of this one. Now, if we bake it again, 
we can see that we have a cleaner bake without any skewing issues. So go ahead and try to find some issues yourself. Um, move the cage, paint some skewing, and I'll see you after that. So if you end up with some errors like this one here, you can't really avoid it in any way. Um, maybe you can try to paint in your offset, but as you can see here, it's because the offset is kind of clipping with each other and the distance is pretty close and that's why it's giving you some errors. So if you moved it to the max offset, it wouldn't capture this little curve here. And it's just a little bit easier to just paint it in. So you can go to your normals. You can click this uh, little pencil icon and that will edit the baked map in uh, Photoshop. If you're baking in PSD, it will automatically open Photoshop. So once that's opened up, you just zoom in on the parts that's causing the issue. And what I just like to do is copy over something from the normal map, like this part. I press Ctrl C and V, then I move it, or you can just kind of scale it all the way out. And then I just like to use a low hardness eraser just to smoothen it out a little bit. Oh, that's a little bit too much. And if you save it, you can press OK. It will update on the model automatically the moment you save. Now, of course, you can't see it because the ambient occlusion still has the same error. So if you unhide it, we can see it's already a little bit better only with the um, normal map. So you would just do the same thing for the occlusion map. Just um, cut out a piece and paint it in or just use content aware fill. That would do the trick as well. So once you're happy with it, your bake should be pretty fine. After that, you can just go ahead and bake all of the other maps you need. So usually normals object space, position, curvature, thickness, your object ID. And if you want more maps, you can click configure and you can bake stuff like your height, convexity and cavity and anything else you'd need. Right, so one thing I've done after baking is I added this little rope here. So that was just a simple spline and I moved the points a little bit on the spline. You can of course add dynamics if you want some extra realism, but for this project, it was fine. Another thing I did was move this part because I wanted to get this um, arrow in the texture because else it would be, feel um, pretty empty if the, um, the little knob was over here. And I also still wanted to get the screw in, as you can see here. So obviously, if I wanted to add the ropes, I also had to rotate this one. So make sure you do it on both the high and the low poly. After that, you can just re-export your high, re-export your low, and Marmoset will automatically bake it again. Yeah.